It's Lily! Oh my goodness! I have not made a DIY video in a long time. Matter of fact, I believe this is my third. But today everyone, as you can tell by the title, and of course these LPS behind me, we're going to be making LPS necklaces! But before we get started, a word from Cuddly Bunny LPS herself. Hey guys! Cuddly Bunny LPS here. Or for those who do not know me by my real name, and that's Teal. But anyway, as you can see, I have made a ton of these guys. Although these just may be some LPS necklaces that I've made, I have a lot more. Not including the ones I bought from eBay. But in total of the LPS necklaces that I've made, I've made, I believe, over 40 of them. And to total the amount of LPS necklaces that I have, that I've made, and are from eBay, the total, total number of necklaces I have are 60-something LPS necklaces. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love this DIY and personally I find this very addicting. <laughs> With the amount I've made I just ran out of so many ideas of colors but even though I can make more with the same colors I have there's still a billion more colors out there that I'm willing to make but right now we're just gonna start with our basic necklace so back to you Lily. Thank you! But yes we're gonna be doing kind of basic necklaces right now. And then maybe in future videos, I'll probably show you guys how to make ne LPS necklaces that have charms on them, such as November's necklace. November's necklace is not made by us. It was bought from eBay from an LPS outfit that we bought about a couple year, about a year ago or a month ago or a couple months ago. I don't even remember when we bought it. But you guys know she wears this necklace all the time because it has a cute little bird on it. But it's pretty straightforward how we're going to be making this thing. So yeah. But right now we're just gonna start with our basics, so let me stop talking so we can get started. Let's start out with the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some wire. Yes, I know this is a mess right now, but trust me, it's it wasn't that bad when we first bought it. Wire cutters, a needle nose, some seed beads to be specific, and of course an LPS. And today's LPS model that we're gonna be doing is right now the star of LPS Teenage Love Story. Nikki, who plays the role as Sarah. Thanks for having me here. No problem, Nikki. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, and before I forget, you can get all of the beads and wire at Walmart or Target. I'm pretty sure they have it on your local craft store. As for the tools, you can probably just find them in your local hardware store, or you can just ask your dad if he has a needle nose and a wire cutters. I'm pretty sure he knows um, what tools you're talking about, because, you know, <laughs> handyman, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're probably wondering, why wire cutters and not scissors? Although, yes, you can use scissors, but for very thin wire. If it's thick wire, kind of like this copper right here, I have some scissors next to me, and it's pretty hard to cut them, and it takes a lot of... and, and, it, and just, it's real, it really sucks, and that's why we recommend wire cutters, because the wire cutters don't have that problem. We can just go like, and have no problem. I'll be sure to put the wire sizes down below that are good for these seed beads. So yeah. Now let's get started. The first step is pretty obvious. Take your wire cutters and kind of eyeball a length, probably about this long. I'm going to try to bring it to the back so you guys can see. This long of a wire. Not too much, obviously. But yeah, obviously the wire doesn't need, doesn't need to be this long. But I would recommend it since you're going to be putting beads on. So yeah. Now you know when you're making a string necklace in summer camp or preschool, you would have to tie a knot on the string so that way they'll have a knot so that way these guys won't fall off. You kind of got to do the same with the wire. So what you're going to do is take your needle nose and of course take the end of your wire as I'm setting it up right now. Excuse me for a second. What you're going to do is take the end of your wire, no matter what end it is, and kind of lay it on the tip of your needle nose. I'm sorry, this is a little bit hard because this thing is really old. I'm going to have to get a new one. But kind of bend it like this to make a loop. Kind of make a hookish thing. I'm going to try to do it on camera. I might have to speed it up. These are old, so yeah. Anyway, let's speed this up so I can show you. I'll take the end and fold it like this. And just to seal it in, 
and just to close the hook like that even though it's not if it's not perfect you can just fix it but this is basically what you have to do it's kind of hard doing it on camera i do a lot better off camera but also the fact that these guys are rusty like i'm having trouble opening them for some reason i don't know i'll talk about that all right i fixed it a little bit this looks a lot better but anyway, the next step is your favorite part, is the color. If you got a close-up of these beads, even though, yes, they all look the same, they kind of have different sizes sizes and length. Like, you can kind of see how, if I can try to point, I'm just going to use this wire. So, you see how, like, this one, the one I'm kind of trying to point at right here, is kind of a little bit longer than this one? Kind of be careful with those. Not saying you can't use them, but yeah. Since I have a lot of dark colored necklaces, I think we can probably do a light colored pattern. But obviously the next step is to take whatever beads you like, whether if you want to do a plain color, kind of like my red one right here. And I just pulled this one out of my bag because I don't think I've done this pattern yet, but I think we're going to take these beads right here, kind of make them into a pattern. Also guys, no matter what, beads get messy. They will bounce all over your hard surface, so if you have a soft surface, I would recommend laying it on that. But since I'm lazy and I don't want to get up, we're just going to do this. And if you are doing this on a hard surface, a little strategy is once you're about to dump your beads, put your finger above like the exit, and then what you want to do is kind of just dump them and then let, very gently let go. Because they're going to roll around and stuff, but yeah, kind of don't get too much, but this is just... Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly why you would need a nice soft surface so that doesn't happen, but yeah. Now guys, this isn't exactly unnecessary, but if you really want to be organized with your pattern, you can just kind of line up the beads like this if you really want to like make sure you know what you're doing. You don't have to do this, but it's rec if you want to, it's recommended because this helps you stay organized and in total, um, there are nine beads in a row. The next step, what all you would have to do is just put the beads through the wire and let them slide on down and see that? That's why you need the loop because look at that, it stays. And I'm just going to speed this up so give me one second. Now when you are done, Obviously, make sure you are holding this a little tight so you don't drop anything and you don't have to start this all over again. But what you do is you gotta eyeball this, take your wire cutters, maybe light the camera a little bit. Here we go. Take your wire cutters, I'm doing this backwards, and kind of eyeball um, the length so you can kind of cut off the excess. So we're just gonna do that. If you feel like the end is too long, just trim it but very little. You usually don't wanna trim too much and you would have to start this process all over again. I feel like it's too long, so I'm just going to cut off this piece and then just a tiny bit more like this. This is just for me. You don't have to trim it too short, but this is all you have to do. And then the final step is to do the looping again. This is going to take a while because of my freaking needle nose being, oh, thank god that was closed, um, being a jerk. So we're just going to bend this. So I show you the proper way of doing this without that extraness from my needle nose here. And all I gotta do is close it if it'll cooperate. <laughs> Ugh, I need to get new ones. I don't know what's up with these. There we go. Close it just like that. And then all I gotta do is just kind of bend it to a necklace shape. And then we need our model, Nikki. Try it on, girl. Just slide it on your LPS. And you're done. Honestly, this looks really good on her. <laughs> Nikki, you look so good. Thank you, I love it. Also guys, you do not have to do it like this little two pattern thing or just a straight across pattern like this. You can take big like you could take these regular size seed beads or these really tiny seed beads and kind of do a pattern like this if you'd like to or take your regular beads and kind of do something like this if you want although this this does require more than nine beads as you can kind of see for example on this one it has 11 beads in total 
And for this one, it has 16 beads. Can you leave that 16? But that's basically all you need to make an LPS necklace. Trust me, I have spent hours just doing that and it is so much fun. So now your LPS has a beautiful piece of jewelry. You have brand new necklaces that you didn't even have to go on eBay to buy them. You can just go to Walmart or Target or your local craft store and just make these and just spend hours doing it. It's so relaxing. And even if you want to, this is an option. Even for me, I've been thinking about it, but you can possibly sell these on eBay. <laughs> but either way, it's super fun and there's more ways to make LPS necklaces like doing different patterns besides the one I'm wearing or the one we just made together. There's the ones that I showed you with the other two necklaces, but there's also where you can add charms and other things, but um, I'm kind of waiting for the charm thing because right now, because where I live, it's kind of hard to find things, and the only local craft store that we have, I believe, around us is Michael's, and I've never been there. So maybe I'll take a, maybe I'll do like a little DIY Lily vlog and maybe go to Michael's one day. Or just any craft store except for Walmart. Because Walmart just loves to not have us film in their store when they film us all the time with their dog on security cameras. I mean, how many times have you guys watched Shane Dawson where he got checked out of Walmart? Why Walmart? <laughs> not dissing you though, I love you Walmart, you're the best. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below uh, what you want me to make next. Until then, I am Lily. Thank you for watching another DIY with Lily. I will see you again soon. Okay, bye!